Hi everybody, let me welcome you at uh, today's unboxing of Rona again. Rona is a new card game uh, created by uh, Stefan Stefani, uh, he's, he's the author. Uh, and today we will show you what you will find uh, in the box. So, the box is here, you can take a look at it. And you will find a rule book. Rule book is pretty thick. Uh, and uh, you will find all the rules in there uh, written in quite big letters, so uh, it's easy to read. Uh, you will find a lot of examples, so it's easy to easy to learn actually. Uh, then you have the punch cards. Uh, punch cards. Uh, there is several types of token you use in the game, and then uh, there is uh, the meters you can measure uh, your resources uh, in the game. You will have to assemble it yourself. You have this small stuff, and uh, you put it all together. And then we have the cards. Um, the most important. The most important part. Uh, there is over 150 cards, right? 56. Yes. Uh, the cards are from 310 paper. They are pretty solid, uh, very good quality. Um, and what? Have you something to add? To that? Oh, uh, nothing. We just will look uh, more deeply on each a part of this in, inside of this box. So let's look at it. Okay, so now we will take uh, a look more deeply inside uh, the box. So we already said uh, you have punch boards, uh, uh, where you have the health tokens. Health tokens. Uh, the wound tokens. Uh, no, it's, here it's... from the other side. Uh, and then there are special tokens uh, that somehow adjust uh, the cards themselves. So when you put uh, them onto the card, and then you have uh, uh, the water meters uh, here that measure how much resources you have uh, to spend. Uh, this is the basic resource uh, in, in the game. In the game. Uh, and then you you will find here a four for the comfort play for four players. So you have a four dials here. Okay, uh, we will have a look uh, into the rules. You can see uh, there is a number of pictures uh, that will make it much easier for you to, to learn the game. Uh, so after reading uh, the rule once, you will be able to, to play it. Uh, you should be able to play it without uh, any, any problems. problems. Uh, but you will have to learn the game because uh, it's quite complex. So, so it will take you some time to master the game, really. <laughs> really, yeah. So let's look at the most important part of the game and it's a card so please open it and we'll find there are a few card types okay, uh, you Let's have a unit here they are fighting for you the unit the unit has some different stats statistics and the most important cards are uh, heroes that are cards which represents you in the game. So, so let's look at how it might be better here. Yes. Then there are tactics cards uh, that are for one, one use. You for one use, use, just to surprise your opponent. And then technologies. And the technologies, it's, some, it's like core basic cards of your strategy. Mm -hmm. So we already said that the cards themselves are, are quite solid, uh, so, so you can see uh, they are of pretty good quality. This, this is a preprint copy, so, so uh, uh, they will be packed uh, normally uh, in the wrapping so, foil. In the wrapping yeah. foil. And here is the back of the cards. All cards have the same back. So just to see. And we have one more little box here, but this box is full of cards actually. Uh, there is and 100 cards. 100 cards. This is the first expansion uh -huh. for the room. And it has the same game mechanics. There are three rule cards. So there are new keywords uh, like strike, shield or fly. Uh, that somehow uh, adjust the gameplay. Yeah, and uh, the basic concept is the same. You have a units, you have a tactics, technologies, and the heroes. Um, there are four new heroes in the expansion. 
few technologies and it's mainly focused on tactics and units that will enhance uh, the basic gameplay so you have more cards and much more variability to, to play the game. Yeah. All the cards were painted by, by Czech authors. How many did you use, Chip? Um, there were more than 20 authors, so we hope you will find it, it's uh, there these, these, these paintings really thematic, so... Yeah, the pictures are great. So, so. We hope you will enjoy the game. Okay, so that was it. Uh, I think now you have a pretty good picture uh, how Verna looks like. Uh, and I advise you to try it and play it, because it's very good, uh, very good game. I love it. So, we hope you will find it at your table and have a nice day.